uh, my colleague, together with my colleague uh, Irene Toscana. Uh, we represent today the University of, of Macerata in Italy. I'd like to start the presentation with the, uh, a short video in order to, um, to show you our university and uh, the territory. Okay, if you're ready, we can start. So thank you very much for your attention. I'd like to start our presentation. Okay, can you hear me now? Okay. So uh, let's move on to the presentation. I hope you can see my screen again. So I'd like to start our uh, presentation with uh, just a moment. Okay. with some detailed information concerning the University of Macerata. As you probably could see from the video, the um, Macerata is located in Le Marc region, and um, which is the only region in Italy written in the plural form. This probably is due to its variety of views, its gorgeous, coastal line, the mountains inland and the rolling hills uh, between, or uh, maybe because of the many dialects that there are spoken. 
Uh, Le Marche is uh, situated in uh, central Italy. On the east, it's bordered with the Adriatic coast and sea, and uh, the west connects with Tuscany and uh, Umbria region. Mac uh, Macerata and uh, Le Marche region has a uh, very uh, gorgeous uh, territory. Uh, which you normally see in paintings with hills uh, connecting with fl flat coastlines and mountains in the west. It's a strip of only 50 uh, kilometers. The town, the town of Macerata is located just in the middle between the sea and the mountains. The perfect equilibrium between nature and man-made constructions. The area is characterized by an excellent quality of life due to the province clean air and natural parks, as well as its peaceful yet lively atmosphere, which is present in all surrounding towns and cities dotting the, the local landscape. The city of Macerati is located in an ideal location for reaching the province uh, uh, all the provinces uh, that um, to offer. The Adriatic Sea that I mentioned before is only at 30 kilometers of distance, while the National Park of Sibylline Mountains is at about 50 kilometers. Uh, as well, other interesting and important uh, historical cities and sites are uh, relatively nearby. Uh, if we think about Rome, for example, from Macerata, it's uh, um, about uh, three hours, uh, same time for reaching Bologna, just to give you an idea. Um, the culture and art dominate the, the city, lots of monuments and museums, along with the excellence of civil, religious and military architecture, archaeological sites, historical theatres and library uh, scattered through the authorities. Um, and, and it makes Macerata profoundly tied to its cultural roots. Many cultural events take place in Macerata, some of which uh, are international renewed, such as the opera season, Macerata Opera Festival, and the singer-songwriter festival, Musicultura. Uh, they both take place uh, in, in Macerata in the unique and spectacular setting of the Speristerio Arena. Uh, I'd like to move on to the, uh, the University of Macerata history. Um, the University of Macerata was founded in 1290 and is one of the oldest universities in Europe, but we can see in the world. Over the years, thousands of uh, University of Macerata graduates have become distinguished uh, professionals, uh, entrepreneurs, leading public figures, educators, uh, researchers. Without any doubt, a bit of Italian, European and in, in international history has been built by the alumni of the University of Macerata. This glorious past is projected into the future. And uh, nowadays, the, the University of Macerata is strongly committed to innovation, both in teaching and research. The focus on the humanities and social sciences is the University of Macerata main strength and innovation through the humanities is our motto. Those who are interested in law, political science and international relations, economics and business, education, tourism and cultural heritage, communication, languages, philosophy and history, can find that the University of Macerata perfect place. The university provides an international environment and by a state of the art services. At the same time, it offers a unique opportunity to experience a typical Italian way of life. Uh, the university is located in the town center with its historical buildings and medieval pathways. It's a campus in the town. 
the uh, the departments and schools that you uh, and laboratories uh, and residences that, that you can see in this slide are all uh, in the city center except for the department for one department which is outside the city walls so uh, every uh, um, places and it's uh, very well connected and easy to to be reached uh, in a few minutes uh, just by walking uh, let's move to the uh, departments of the universe of macerata they are five we can mention the department of economics and law the department of law the department of education cultural heritage and tourism Department of Political Science, Communication and International Relations, and the Department of Humanities. Okay, uh, so now we we'll, would we'll like to, um, to show you, to share with you the many bachelor and master's degree programs offered at our university. They are uh, offered by uh, each department uh, that I mentioned before, so you can easily read them um, in these two slides. Let's start with the, the Department of uh, Economics and Law. Uh, okay, before doing this, I'd like to specify that uh, all uh, bachelor and master's degree programs are taught in Italian, except um, four um, courses which are fully taught uh, in English. Um, if you are more into the English language uh, programs, I can stress them during the presentation. For example, let's start with the Department of Economics and Law. At this department, uh, you can choose between two bachelor's degree programs taught in Italian about economics and the two-year master's degree program in uh, business management and consulting. The master's degree program in uh, um, international finance and economics is entirely taught in English and it also offers the opportunity to, to, to enroll in a multiple degree with the University of Angers in France and the University Nicolaus Copernicus of Turun in Poland. Another uh, department of uh, the Department of uh, Cultural Heritage and Tourism offered uh, several bachelor and master's degree programs about uh, primary education, cultural heritage and tourism, education, pedagogy, cultural heritage and uh, management. Um, as for the, um, the master's degree program taught in uh, English, uh, I can mention the, the one about international tourism and destination management. At the Department of Com uh, Political Science, Communication and International Relations, a variety of bachelor and master's degree programs uh, related to communication, political science, uh, and international relations are offered. They're all um, taught in Italian, except the master's degree program in international relations, which is a two-year master's degree program uh, entirely taught in English. Uh, this master's degree program offers the opportunity to enroll in double degree program uh, with international universities. Let's move to the, uh, the Department of Humanities, where you, uh, all courses are taught in Italian. The bachelor and master's degree programs uh, are about philosophy, humanities, uh, Western and Eastern languages and culture, language mediation, uh, and also philo philology, literature, and so on. Uh, at this department, you can also enroll in double degree program with French universities. 
last but not least, the Department of Law, uh, where you, you can choose among a variety of um, single cycle and bachelor and master's degree programs related to law. I'd like to also uh, mention the three-year bachelor's degree program in international European and comparative legal studies. This one is entirely taught in English. And uh, to, to sum up, the, the, the all courses taught in Italian at our university are four. The bachelor's degree program in uh, international European comparative legal studies, and the two-year master's degree programs in international relations, international tourism and destination management, and international finance and economics. Uh, in order to, to be admitted to our uh, programs, uh, if they are taught in Italian, uh, the minimum language requirement is uh, level B2, upper intermediate, the same for the English taught programs. Um, the minimum language requirements in order to be admitted is the level B2, upper intermediate. Okay, now I'd like to share with you some fact, facts and figures concerning the University of Macerata. Uh, at the moment, 11,000 students are enrolled. Uh, we have two, more than 270 administrative staff, 187 professors, including international visiting professors, 88 prof researchers, uh, all of them of more than 60 nationalities. International students are very important to us because we would like that our community uh, international community um, extends more and more uh, in order to uh, and and to do so we are offering a, a series of services dedicated to international students uh, i can mention the international desk where in tutors and buddies are available to uh, international students in order to deal with all their necessities and support them throughout the pre-admission and enrollment phases. Uh, plus, we offer Italian language courses at all levels. They are offered for free to our international students. Uh, it means that yeah, if you if you don't know anything about Italian language, you can start for for level zero for beginners, uh, or if you have a good or medium command of the Italian language, you can improve it even more uh, during the your uh, your studies at our university. Uh, as I mentioned before, they are all free of charge and uh, international students can also uh, start attending them due, before they arrive to, uh, in Macerata in order to be more familiar with our culture and uh, university. Uh, moreover, the, uh, I'd like to also stress that uh, the university offer internship and uh, placement opportunities thanks to the support of the uh, dedicated office uh, but also uh, the international students can choose among a variety of accommodation options in Macerata uh, between the University of Macerata's dormitories and private flats. Our staff, uh, particularly tutors and buddies, can guide students, international students, to, to find a proper accommodation before their arrival and upon their arrival. Okay, let's move to the uh, many opportunities dedicated to our enrolled students, uh, including, of course, international students. 
once you are enrolled at our university, you, are, um, you have a variety of opportunities also to, to benefit from the Erasmus Plus uh, program. By doing so, you can uh, have a study period, a semester or two, at a partner university, or you can uh, also um, participate in, uh, for example, traineeship uh, programs uh, at uh, private companies or the diplomatic missions, uh, all of, uh, or also the opportunity to, to spend a semester at partner universities outside Europe. We call this program, the last one, Overseas Mobility Grants. Uh, all these opportunities that I mentioned in this slide uh, are also supported by or the Erasmus Plus program or dedicated uh, overseas mobility grants. It means that you can cover more or less all the uh, travel and living expenses while you are abroad at partner universities, uh, thanks to the Erasmus Plus program or uh, dedicated scholarships offered by the University of Macerata. We have uh, uh, international agreements, bilateral agreements with partner universities in the five continents in more than 25 countries outside Europe uh, and more than 60 institutions, just to mention the international non European agreements. As for the Erasmus Plus program, we have uh, agreements uh, in uh, all the European countries. Uh, so you have a variety of opportunities to, um, to spend a semester or two at partner university as well. Uh, in order to attract uh, international students, we uh, also uh, offer a variety of scholarships. Uh, I'd like to start with the University of Macerata scholarships dedicated to international students willing to enroll in a master's degree program, in a two-year master's degree program. The next call for application for the academic year 22-23, starting in September, will be launched in a few days. Uh, therefore, I suggest you check our website in order to, 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 to be updated with this opportunity. Uh, the Universal Macerata Scholarship uh, allowed international students to benefit from a scholarship of uh, 7,000 euro in order to enroll at our university and uh, uh, take exams in the two year of the master's degree program. Uh, I'd like also to mention the ERDIS scholarship. ERDIS is the regional agency for the right for higher education, and it offers uh, support for deserving students uh, and students with no means. Uh, the call for application is published every year by Erdis uh, by uh, end of May, beginning of June. Then I'd like to uh, also talk about the Confindustria Macerata Scholarship. This scholarship is uh, intended for international students only uh, who uh, enroll in the International Relations Master's Degree Program offered by the Department of um, Political Science communication and international relations. To move on, um, the last uh, three um, scholarships in the list are offered by the Italian Ministry of um, Foreign Affairs and uh, the Ministry of Universities. They are Study in Italy Scholarship, Invest Your Talent in Italy, and a Scholarship for international protected students. As you uh, can see, we have a variety of scholarships dedicated to international students. 
Last but not least, I'd like to mention that uh, being a public university, um, um, the University of Macerata cares a lot about uh, the possibility for students to enroll at the university regardless to their economic conditions because uh, the Italian constitution uh, guarantees the right to study through generally controlled tuition fees. And this is why the tuition fees in Italian universities may appear lower than in other international institutions. To, to focus more on our university, the maximum amount of fees for the current academic year for a full-time enrollment is 1,600 euro. Tuition fees for international students are reduced based on their country of origin. For example, students coming from a non-OECD member country pay only 156 euro per year. It means that if you are willing to enroll in a master's degree program, you will pay this amount for two years, for example. And um, so uh, let's move on. Uh, the University of Macerata, uh, in compliance with the national and regional regulations, has adopted strict safety protocol to prevent the risk of infection from COVID-19. Uh, in the situation now in Italy is uh, in getting better day after day. Uh, so starting from April, we will uh, also abandon some uh, several restrictions. Uh, however, yeah, during the uh, lockdowns and um, from the beginning of the pandemic, uh, it, it has been possible to, for our students uh, to attend courses uh, online and in presence. Uh, but uh, we would like uh, to offer the opportunity to attend courses in presence only starting from the next semester. If, um, but we will know this only by following the evolution of the COVID-19 pandemic. Uh, okay, so uh, we are at the end of the presentation and uh, I would like to inform you that uh, pre-admission application to the next academic year, 22-23, starting in September, are now open. Uh, we have an online portal where we collect stu international students' application, which is apply.unimc.it. Uh, you can easily uh, search for the bachelor or master's degree of your interest. Uh, detailed information are provided in both in English and Italian language. And you will be fully uh, guided by our staff and tutors throughout the uh, pre-enrollment process. We suggest you apply as soon as possible and however by the end of uh, April. Uh, if you are admitted, you all will receive a pre-admission letter that will uh, speed up the uh, enrollment uh, uh, session and also the issuing of the study visa. We have a dedicated uh, uh, email address for international students willing to study at our university, which is prospective.student at unimc.it. If you like to hear from us, if you have any questions, please feel free to contact us uh, anytime, both through the uh, Dream Apply portal, apply.unimc.it, and through the email address prospective.student in uh, at unimc.it. So I like, um, I hope this presentation uh, was useful. And now we are here in order to discuss with you about 
the many opportunities uh, we are offering to international students at our university. Okay, I can see some hands raised. Thank you very much, Natalie. We also have mm -hmm. some questions in the chat. Ah, okay. I think my colleague Irene is answering the questions, mm -hmm. but maybe it, it can be useful to, uh, to, uh, to discuss them uh, with students directly. Could you please allow Irene to, uh, to take part in the discussion? Okay, thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you, Simona. Thanks, uh, everybody uh, watching the presentation and, uh, and the video as well. Um, let me introduce myself. I'm Irene, the, um, a colleague of Simona, and I would like to take this opportunity um, since many of you uh, have asked uh, I would like to show you how the application portal um, uh, works, uh, how it looks like, and uh, how easy it is uh, to apply for the University of Macerata. If you allow me to uh, share the screen, I will show I will show you everything. Okay. Yes, you, you can. Okay. Thanks. So uh, the starting point, uh, oh, sorry. The, uh, okay, can you see my screen? Okay, um, so the starting point, as uh, Simona already told you, is our um, um, application portal whose website is apply.unimc.it. So uh, this is the portal, the online portal, where you can start your application uh, to the University of Macerata for the next academic year. Uh, being uh, students from uh, non-European Union countries, uh, country, you have to apply for a um, pre-admission, so it means for a preliminary evaluation of your entry qualifications, so your um, bachelor's degree if you apply for a master's degree or your high school diploma if you apply for a bachelor's degree. And uh, the, um, the website is uh, accessible uh, both from your laptop and your smartphone as well. So apply.unimc.it. Uh, from the um, homepage, uh, you will find some useful information about the process uh, and about the deadlines um, by which you can apply for the pre-admission. Uh, by clicking this button, you can browse the programs available for the applications, both the bachelor's and the master's degree programs. Uh, you will find a selection of the programs offered by the University of Macerata uh, according to your uh, uh, interest. So be, if you are interested in, for instance, uh, in law, in, uh, in the field of law, tourism, uh, or economics, uh, political science, uh, um, lang foreign languages, and um, also education. This is a, a selection, as I told you, and it collects the, the I think, the, the most um, appreciated programs by international students, uh, both taught uh, in English language and in uh, um, Italian language. You can select uh, the, um, for instance, you can select uh, uh, the, the course of your interest. Maybe, maybe you are interested in international finance and economics. You, will, uh, you can uh, consult uh, uh, an outline of the, um, of the program, so how it is organized, which subjects uh, are offered, and also other 
other opportunities like double degree programs. You can also access the uh, website of the department offer, offering the, the program for other details. And then you, uh, you, you can start your application by clicking the button apply now. You can register and start uh, the application. It's very, um, as Simona told you, it's very quick and very uh, smart, uh, the application form. Uh, be ready to submit your personal uh, um, information, personal documents, and the relevant information about your qualifications. So if you apply for a bachelor's degree program, uh, you must submit uh, the high school uh, diploma um, stating, uh, the um, confirming that you have completed at least 12 years of schooling for bachelor's degree program. If you apply for a master's degree program, uh, you are uh, required to submit uh, the documentation regarding your uh, bachelor's degree program, uh, in order, uh, which means the diploma and the transcript of records. Uh, these documents are essential for the evaluation uh, the, a commission composed by teaching staff of the selected program will assess, will examine your documents, will verify uh, your um, requirements, your qualifications, and if in case of positive evaluation, in case of eligibility for the enrollment at the selected program, you receive a pre-admission letter. It means that you own, you hold the requirements for the enrollment at the University of Macerata. The um, uh, subsequent phase uh, after the pre-admission, uh, you have to, you are, uh, you can start the um, application process for the visa. And they start with the uh, application through Universitali. Universitali is uh, um, um, a website of the Italian government through which uh, international students uh, um, uh, needing for a, for a visa for studying in Italy can uh, um, apply for a pre-enrollment. This is how Universitali appears. You can change the language. It's both in Italian and in, in English. You uh, can uh, um, access some useful information on how to apply for a visa and how to pre-enroll. This is a pr process uh, in charge of the Italian uh, um, diplomatic authorities and missions. So uh, first you apply for the pre-enrollment by, um, by selecting the program you have been admitted to. Then you select the Italian uh, uh, diplomatic mission uh, to which you have to apply for a visa. And then you wait for a validation from our university and for the sending for the um, uh, submission of your uh, request for an appointment at the Italian diplomatic mission. After that, everything um, related to the visa process uh, is uh, in charge of the diplomatic mission. So that's why we warmly recommend you to start uh, from now uh, collecting information on how to, and what is, what is uh, re required for the visa application. Once you get the visa, and this is the final, uh, the final step of the process on how to enroll at the University of Macerata, once you get the visa, you are very welcome to arrive uh, in Italy, to arrive in Macerata, and to start the final registration, final enrollment at the University of Macerata. So be uh, ready uh, to bring with you from your country the necessary documentation for the enrollment, and you will find the this information in our website at the following web page you can find in the chat 
and under the step three. And you, you, you will, after this, uh, the final step, you are ready to join our, our university to attend classes and to be part of our community. Thank you. And of course, um, I would like to repeat, as Simona told you, we are uh, at your complete disposal for questions, assistance during this uh, phase of pre-enrollment. Just write us, just um, contact us uh, by email to the email address perspective.student at unimc.it. We'll be very, very pleased to receive your uh, questions and to answer. Thank you. Thank you very much. Okay, I'm sharing with you some uh, useful links in the chat box where um, where you can see, for example, where you can uh, reach uh, the apply uh, portal and uh, also the scholarship um, section of our website. It's very important that you apply by the end of uh, April in order to have the opportunity to enroll in the next academic year starting in September. If you have any doubt, uh, we are available to answer all your questions right now and also by the, uh, through the email address uh, prospective.student at unimc.it. Do you have any questions? Please raise your hand. Yeah, Simona, thank you very much. Kim nadir savollar bo'lsa, qo'lini ko'tarsa ruxsat beraman, to'g'ridan to'g'ri ingliz tilida so'rash mumkin. Ruxshona, o'zingiz unmute qilib savolni so'rashingiz mumkin. Could you please activate Irene's uh, microphone? Thank you. Thank you. So okay, sorry for uh, so no. bothering <laughs> you always with this request. I don't know why, but the microphone doesn't work. Uh, yeah, I've just seen the uh, uh, a question. Maybe it's it could be useful for all, all the participants. Uh, Ruk Shona, sorry for the pronunciation, uh, is asking how about the this university payment? Maybe. It's a question related to the tuition fees uh, for the registration at uh, our university. Well, you, you, you can pay the tuition fees only after uh, your uh, arrival in Macerata and at the end of the registration enrollment procedure at the University of Macerata. So you, you have to pay the tuition fees. Uh, after getting the visa and after your arrival in Macerata. We don't ask any, um, any payment before these two um, processes, okay? Mr. Anwarov, Sazem Saul is going to be my love, so I should move on English still. And also, uh, while we receive Just, questions, maybe mm -hmm. we can, can, can you hear me? While we receive questions, I answer. Uh, some of you are asking uh, uh, about the IELTS exam. Well, IELTS, it, um, IELTS exam uh, is not uh, requested by, uh, for the admission for all um, our um, courses. It depends on the course, uh, on the program you uh, apply for. 
for sure, if you uh, apply for an English taught uh, program, being a bachelor's degree or a master's degree, you have to um, demonstrate your uh, knowledge, your good knowledge, at least a B2 level um, uh, knowledge of English language. And you can demonstrate uh, uh, this um, proficiency by submitting a, an English uh, certificate. Uh, uh, being uh, an IELTS or um, other other um, recognized uh, certifications, or if you if your studies if your previous studies were uh, delivered in English language, you don't need to submit a certificate. But it's uh, our recommendation is always to uh, verify the requirements, the specific requirements of each uh, program. So um, th this this uh, this proof of uh, proficiency is required uh, during the current uh, uh, um, step. So during the preliminary evaluation step, the pre-admission. So be sure to uh, have these um, documents or uh, this um, requirement while you apply for it. I am reading a question um, about the possibility to apply for a master's degree program, which is not uh, the direct um, the continuation of a bachelor's degree program uh, taken before. Uh, yes, it, it is possible as long as the uh, committee examines uh, the transcript of records that you, you you will upload in the online portal. Uh, the list of exams that you took during the bachelor's degree program will be attentively taken into consideration and you will be informed whether you meet the admission requirements. They can be, for example, the coverage of certain specific um, study uh, areas like, for example, economics, uh, foreign languages and so on. So, for example, if you are willing to enroll in the master's degree program in economics and finance, uh, uh, you can be accepted uh, even if uh, you haven't studied economics. Uh, I mean, if, even if you don't have a bachelor's of economics, uh, uh, because as I said, the committee will take into consideration the list of exams that you took during your previous study path. We are, in a way, we can say uh, we can say that we are flexible to this regard. May I speak? Speak. Sure. Assalamu alaikum. Hello. Ciao. Now, nowadays, I am studying. I studying uh, at college uh, and arts course, um, but I haven't uh, uh, arts um, score as well. Uh, that's because uh, I have got a question. Mm. Mm. May I study Italian University uh, without IELTS? But um, uh, I I will take this year uh, on July. Mm -hmm. Are you willing to enroll in for uh, the next academic year starting in September? Mm. Or next year, I mean, in the uh, 2023? No, uh, well. Spring, spring call? Mm -hmm. spring. spring call, okay. So the, the last intake, uh, for admission, we have uh, um, will end at 
the 28th of April. So if you are willing to enroll in the uh, next academic year starting in September, we suggest you submit your pre-admission application by this deadline. Um, otherwise, you cannot be considered for the, for the next academic year starting in September. Yeah. So well, I suggest you visit our website in order to check the admission requirements and submit your pre-admission application, even if you're not graduated at the moment. Yeah. In order to know in advance whether you meet the admission requirements. Thanks. Okay, I'm reading a question. Uh, let, uh, with my bachelor's degree in linguistics, I still have a chance to be accepted to the Department of Economics uh, for my master's. Well, it depends on the exams you uh, took during the bachelor's de uh, degree uh, program. And this is why we ask applicants to upload their transcript of records in order to uh, let our professors understand whether you have taken uh, exams in the required areas. So it depends on the exams that you took during the bachelor's degree program. Okay, I can see many hands uh, raised. Uh, Fariza, it's uh, your turn if you're ready. Yeah, hello. Ciao. Ciao. Uh, I would like to ask some question about master's degree. And uh, now I have graduated as a bachelor degree and I have a diploma about foreign languages. And uh, I would like to apply my, uh, no, my continue, uh, future uh special specialization about business and uh, i could say eco about economics can i apply for this sphere or for this uh field yeah sure you say you can submit the uh, application for uh the the master's degree programs offered by the universe of macerata uh, if you are interested in the master's degree programs taught in English, there are three. Um, um, the one in economics and finance, uh, international tourism and international relations. You can select yeah. the, the programs of your interest and submit your application. Uh, yeah, thank you. And I have one more question mm -hmm. about, uh, for example, if I... Um, if I fulfill these requirements, mm -hmm. uh, for example, IELTS and the dip overall diploma grade scores, maybe, and uh, another requirements, I will, um, I, I could give uh, enough, um, enough uh, information or documents even. Uh, can you give some scholar uh, scholarships uh, from the university? How uh, tuition fee? to the university who are just, who has enough knowledge in English or for the international uh, universe, uh, students, I have interested in it. Mm -hmm. Okay, as for the tuition fees, they are um, calculated depending on the, um, in a way, uh, country of residence of the, uh, the student. Student, as I uh, as you could probably see from the presentation uh, for the current academic year, students from non OECD countries like Uzbekistan pay uh, 156 euro per year. Mm -hmm. And as for the scholarships, we have a variety of uh, programs available available for international students. The one uh, offered by the University of Macerata itself will be published in a few weeks in our website. So uh, in order to get the scholarship, you have to go through the, uh, 
to our selection process and the, the best applicants uh, will be granted the University of Macerata scholarship. Uh, you have also other scholarship opportunities uh, to benefit from. For example, the Regional Agency for the Right for uh, Higher Education Scholarship, the government, uh, uh, Italian government scholarship and so on. Um, in order to, to be uh, updated with the uh, scholarship opportunities, uh, we suggest you first of all to submit your admission application mm -hmm. and also to visit our websites on a regular basis. Okay, However, our, our applicants are constantly informed about the uh, scholarship opportunities offered by the university or the uh, Italian government. Thank you very much. You're welcome. So let's move to Aziz Beck. Ciao. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. First of all, thank you for giving information about university in Italy. And I have a question about mm -hmm. uh, uh, working in your country uh, with together uh, study. If I will be a student of Italian university and uh, have I got uh, how many how many hours uh, like uh, to work? Okay, so uh, in Italy with a study visa and uh, study uh, resi Italian residence permit, it's possible to work for a maximum of 20 hours per week. Yes. So the answer is yes, you can both uh, study and work with the study visa. Yes. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Okay. Uh, so now the your. Sorry if I'm mispronouncing your name. Uh, it's your turn if you're ready. The your Erkinov. Hi guys. Hi guys. Ciao. Um, uh, I can. Um, uh, I am studying realism. Uh, no, so twelve uh, school. Uh, and I can. Uh, yeah, I have uh, studying uh, university Italian. Um, Architect, uh, architecture university. Uh. Mm -hmm. So, at, uh, unfortunately, at our university, uh, we don't have any architecture uh, bachelor or master's degree programs. We focus mainly in uh, humanities. I hope I answered your question. Um, okay, let's move to Toxir Saliev. I can see you have raised your hand. Okay, if you're ready. Ciao, can you hear me? Unfortunately, um, I think we can't hear you. Could you type your uh, question in the chat box? Seems that also Shodi Slom Shodi would like to give a question. Of course, you can. So, if you're ready, it's your turn. Yes, 
Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Nowadays, I am uh, I'm studying at Lyceum and I have a 5.5 um, IELTS degree. And I'm going to uh, study in at uh, Italy University. And uh, can I um, can I enter uh, to grant the, uh, this university? Yes, I suggest you uh, upload your admission application so that um, the committee can check uh, whether you meet the admission requirements. If so, you receive in a few days the pre-admission letter allowing you to uh, submit your request for the study visa. This is the, the only uh, procedure we have in order to let you check in advance whether you meet the admission requirements. And this is why we suggest you to, to check our website and upload your pre-admission application as soon as possible, because by only doing so, you receive an official reply from the admission committee and if you are eligible for the selected uh, bachelor or master's degree program, you will receive uh, an admission letter and that will speed up the uh, pre-enrollment uh, process and also the issuing of the study visa. Okay, I can see many hands raised. Uh, Dil Murad, it's your turn. <clears throat> Ciao. Good morning. Good, Good morning. morning. Uh, Miss Natalie, uh, my name is Dilmurot. I have a question about education. I have a bachelor's degree. And uh, I can study at the Italian University in a bachelor's degree. And thanks for the answer. Uh, okay, thank you for your question. The, the only way to know whether you, you can study at our university is to submit the pre-admission application through our online platform, apply.unimc.it. By doing so, you will receive an official reply from the university stating whether uh, uh, if uh, you, need, you meet the admission requirements. Uh -huh. Okay, so please check our website and submit your application as soon as possible. Mm, can send uh, info uh, about the university for my uh, Telegram um, account? Well, I think that by visiting our uh, online platform, you can easily reach the dedicated websites where uh, of the University of Macerata, where you can find the information you need uh, concerning the pre-admission uh, requirements, uh, the application process, uh, the timing, and so on. Mm. Well, I uh, can get a grant in this university. Yes, it's possible to apply for grants. Um, in, in order to get, a, to, to get a grant, you are required to uh, submit a specific application according to the call for application. Uh, again, the call, the uh, all scholarship uh, calls are published on our website. Thank you for your information, uh, Miss uh, <coughs> Miss uh, Natalie. Uh, leave your number in this chat, please, for uh, all this information. Unfortunately, uh, we cannot share with uh, applicants our um, mobile phone numbers, but we have a dedicated uh, email address, which is prospective.student at unimc.it. 
uh, you can uh, write to this email address and our staff and tutors will reply to your questions uh, very rapidly. Okay, so we'll be waiting for your uh, emails and application. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, so now uh, Dior Erkinov, you're next. <laughs> Ciao, again. <laughs> Again, uh, hi. Uh, one K I I started at the foundation. foundation. Well, uh, our university does not offer any foundation uh, year uh, program. So in case you are willing to, uh, you are interested in attending one, well, I suggest you check other uh, universities or uh, Italian institutions. Uh, unfortunately, we do not offer any foundation year uh, program. Um, uh, thanks. You're welcome. So, Toxir Saliev, you're next. Ciao. Toxir, I can't hear you again. I'm sorry. Okay, could you please type your uh, question in the chat box? Okay. Yeah, no, Simona, he texted in the chat. He was asking about the exchange. He's a second year student at the university mm -hmm. and he was asking about the exchange if he could do so. Exchange? Okay, exchange program at our university. Oh, well, uh, the University of Macerata hosts uh, many incoming students uh, um, within bilateral agreements. The only way to, to come to our university as an exchange student is uh, um, within the framework of uh, bilateral agreement. So if you are currently enrolled in a, in a university and you like to come to our university as an exchange student, uh, you better check whether your university has a bilateral agreement with us. Otherwise, um, the other option is to, uh, to, to have an exchange um, period uh, is by enrolling at our university first and then participate in the call for application for the exchange programs offered by our university. We, uh, by doing so, you can spend a semester or two at a partner university in Europe or, uh, I mean, in other uh, non-European countries. Uh, the, our university offers dedicated grants that allow our students to, to spend a study period at partner universities. I hope I answered your question. Okay, unfortunately, I cannot uh, read properly your name, but I can see that you raised your hand uh, a few minutes ago. It's maybe Damir Damirov. It's your next. Ciao. I'm sorry, I can't hear you. Could you, could you please check if your mic is on? While checking your settings, uh, let's move to Dildora. Damirov, uh, whenever you're ready, please raise your hand again. Thank you, sorry. Ciao, Lidlora. Hello. Ciao. Uh, first of all, thanks for your beneficial uh, information about uh, studying Italy. 
uh, I get everything I interested in. So I have some questions about master degree, uh, mm -hmm. which I want to uh, to enter the educational system. And uh, can you tell me about uh, some uh, payments and uh, um, scholarships in master's degree? Mm -hmm. Thanks ahead. So uh, the the uh, the tuition fee um, mm -hmm. must be paid uh, at the beginning of the uh, the first semester, uh, as you could probably see uh, from the presentation. We have uh, the maximum tuition fees for the current academic year is one thousand and six hundred euro mm -hmm. for a whole academic year. But thanks to dedicated uh, um, uh, rates uh, that we can offer to international students, uh, non-OECD countries, uh, member countries, uh, students like students from Uzbekistan only uh, have to pay 156 euro per academic year. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. This tuition fee uh, is to be paid at, at the beginning of the first semester, uh, let's say, uh, upon your arrival in uh, Macerata, let's say between September and end of uh, October every mm -hmm. year. As for the scholarships and grants offered by the university, we have a dedicated web page where the, the grants and scholarships are listed down. So I suggest you check our website on a regular basis. Uh, I can anticipate, I can tell you that we are about to publish the call for application for scholarships dedicated to international students uh, enrolling in, the, in a master's degree program at our university uh, mm -hmm. in the next academic year. Uh, the call uh, will be published in a few days. And mm -hmm. uh, I suggest you check our website uh, uh, on our, again on a regular basis and to submit your pre-admission application as soon as possible in order to have the possibility to be considered for this scholarship. The scholarship is uh, offered by the University of Macerata and mm -hmm. it amounts uh, uh, 7,000 uh, euro for enrolling in a two-year master's degree program. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm very thankful for your reply. And one more question, please. Mm -hmm. So I have uh, I have a family and uh, with two children. Uh, can I get some opportunities, or can I get some visas, or, or can I give have uh, can I have some chance to uh, get with my children and family with studying visa? Well, uh, I think we better check this information with the Italian authority in your country. Mm -hmm. Because I believe that several requirements are set in order to, to get uh, the study visa plus uh, the family reconjunction. So uh, we, can, we can ask, uh, I suggest you first of all to read the uh, regulation on, in the Italian uh, embassy website. And mm -hmm. uh, if, if required, uh, we can support you to, to contact them and in order to get the required information. Mm -hmm. Thank you. You're welcome, see you. see you. Okay, so let's try again with Damirov. I hope yes. your mic, okay, Hi. now uh, I can hear you. Can you hear? Yes. Yeah, thank you for giving chance to ask. The question is uh, related to admission requirements. Um, I have a bachelor degree and while I was studying, we had also uh, English courses. So the uh, question is, uh, could it be a uh, proof that uh, we studied English and uh, we have enough uh, 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 
Or uh, is it possible? Is it is there are there chance that the uh, university can organize uh, uh, exam uh, which could check our knowledge in English? Uh, why I'm asking is uh, because uh, I don't have a yet uh, IELTS certificate. Uh, I'm planning to take it in May. I registered it for May. Mm -hmm. so. Okay, so being the uh, deadline for application set for the uh, 28th of April, I suggest you in any case to upload your application and also provide the information you have concerning your um, your command, your proficiency in the English language. Um, at the moment, we don't have a dedicated uh, English language uh, test for international students applying to our uh, bachelor and master's degree programs. However, the committee can check um, the documentation that you uh, will uh, upload in order to understand your um, English language level. Don't worry about this. Don't worry if you don't have a, an English language certificate at the moment. Uh, the, the committee can also take into consideration, for example, the, the fact that you took some, that you passed some English language exams uh, during your university studies or any uh, information concerning the English level, uh, English uh, language level you, you may uh, have at the moment. Thank you. So Thank it's you important lot. that your application is uh, as much um, complete as possible. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay. Uh, Sardor, I, I, I hope the name is correct. Sardor, it's your turn. You're next. Yeah. Thank you. Ciao. <laughs> How are you? What's going on? And now that is, I'm currently as a student, I'm a student at the National University in the first course, and I'm gonna to uh, upload my documents. I mean, not I'm just. I'm sorry that uh, it's a bit noisy. I just can't a minute. Hear you. Okay. That's okay. It's better. So okay. I'm gonna to upload my documents in uh, European countries. It can be uh, so it Italy or uh, Hungary or Germany, but some of the, my friends now they study in Milan and Rome, and they recommended me to study in uh, here because the system of education so high, and but I don't have. I have to say, um, I don't have the IELTS certificate yet. And what um, can I uh, pass the exam with the internal uh, exams? I mean, the, with um, some of the experts uh, who works it in your university who can check my uh, levels of English one. But well, uh, I'm gonna mm -hmm. I'm gonna to mention that my GPA it's approximately for 4.8 and I'm nowadays the volunteer in the young agency in Uzbekistan. Is is it play any crucial role uh, when I uh, upload the documents? Mm -hmm. So we don't have, um, at the moment, we don't offer the uh, possibility of uh, testing the English language level uh, for all our uh, applicants. Uh, however, uh, our uh, committees can check your proficiency in the English language by, thanks to the documentation that you 
um, you will up upload in the uh, apply.unimc.it portal. For example, if you don't have a proper uh, IELTS or TOEFL or Cambridge uh, certificate, the committee can take into consideration the, the transcript of records and the list of English language exams that you probably have taken uh, so far, uh, particularly at the university, if you are uh, applying for a master's degree program. Um, so uh, the same for the GPA, all this information will be taken into consideration for uh, by the committee in order to um, to understand whether you meet the admission requirements. Uh, okay, so um, it's very important that you read the admission requirements attentively before you submit the uh, admission application and also that you provide us with, um, with the information we need to understand your, for example, your proficiency in the English language. And um, also that you record a good uh, motivation video. Uh, we probably forgot to mention that applicants are required to record uh, a uh, video during the application uh, session. Uh, such video is very important for our, our committees in order to understand your proficiency in the English language and also your mo motivation for mm, enrolling at our uh, university. So uh, it's a good piece of advice to uh, to record a good motivation video. Okay, I can see many other uh, hands raised. Yasur Bex, uh, it's uh, your next. Ciao. Hi. Hi. So, Thanks to give chance to speak with you. So the only question uh, is, I wanna give you like, can we get kind of help by the university to get a visa? Yeah, uh, yes, I think the very first um, helpful step is to, uh, is that we provide as the, uh, the as a university the pre-admission letter to all our uh, admitted uh, um, applicants. You can uh, upload the admission letter uh, in the university portal, uh, which is the uh, ministerial portal dedicated to the um, to the uh, for the for uh, international applicants requiring visa, um, so by uploading your admission application, uh, sorry, uh, the admission letter, uh, we will surely uh, speed up the uh, issuing uh, the visa issuing process. Moreover, so, we are constantly in contact with Italian embassies and consulates all over the world. And we follow and support our applicants' uh, visas applications. So, so sorry, again, like uh, application admission letter is the only help for the student to get visa by the university, right? We, uh, well, as far as the other requirements are, um, are meant to be met by the applicants, like uh, 
uh, for example, um, the translation of uh, the uh, original documentation and so on. So uh, yes, you have to go through the visa, uh, visa application on your own, uh, but the university can provide the consulates and embassies in, uh, information concerning your eligibility for the program and all the information required for the enrollment at the university. So thanks for the answer and sorry to take more time. Oh, you're welcome. Okay, thank you. Uh, so Gulnoza, you're next. Hi. Hi, ciao. I would love to know about the studies in your university as well. Well, I have recently graduated my bachelor's degree in the field of uh, business administrations, and I would love to further my studies and master's uh, in mm -hmm. MBA. As I have reviewed the university's web page, they have written that you offer these courses as well. And, um, you know, sometimes it's hard, as you have mentioned before, uh, internship is a part of our course. And uh, sometimes for international students, it's hard to get uh, internship job placements in foreign countries as companies prefer local students often. And I want to know that do uh, much about the university uh, provide and support students in getting job placements? Yes, we do have um, an internship and placement office, which is in charge of supporting uh, students uh, to, uh, to find a proper uh, internship opportunity uh, during the, the study period. Uh, the internship is not mandatory, uh, but uh, all students who are interested in uh, have one during the, the study period, of course, are supported by the university. Another option i like to mention is the uh, Erasmus Plus traineeship program that offers the opportunity to uh, all students, uh, including the international ones, to, to take an internship in, uh, in, in Europe and also uh, get a grant for, to do so. I and see. once again, uh, you will be supported in case you are willing to uh, to submit your application for the Erasmus Plus traineeship program, you'll be supported by the International Mobility uh, Office. Mm, I got it. And one more thing I would love to know that uh, after we successfully graduated our courses and will we be able to get job placements, I mean, permanently job in Italy or uh, with the degree of this country in other uh, European countries. I mean, is your university's degree certificate is accepted worldwide? Oh, well, for sure it is accepted in the uh, Bologna process area, like for sure in, in Europe. As for other countries outside Europe, you, you better check before. Uh, however, uh, the, the office that I mentioned before, the internship and placement office, uh, supports students to, uh, in order to help them find uh, also job opportunities. Mm, I see. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Okay, I don't know whether there are any other questions or you like to discuss about any topics uh, right now. Otherwise, we are very thankful for um, attending this uh, presentation and also the question and answer session. And you are all uh, invited to contact us by um, sending an email to prospective.student at unimc.at. Uh, please visit our website and 
submit your pre-admission application through our online portal, apply.unimc.it. Uh, we are looking forward to receiving your applications to support you throughout the uh, visa process and welcoming you to, to Macerata. Thank you very much, Simona, for the informative presentation. I must say thank you. Thank you all of you for, for attending this session and making very interesting uh, questions. It's always a good opportunity to, to meet uh, prospective students, uh, even, even if not in presence, but online, virtually. Nah, yes. Yes, I think we can finish. If you have some more questions, uh, you can directly contact to the universities through the uh, email they sent prospective.student at unimc.it. Please feel free to text directly to the university. Thank you very much, Irena, Simona. Thank you very much. Have a good day ahead. Grazie. See you soon. <laughs> Ciao.